Well, I figured you'd want to know where I got all these blocks from. You know, the smooth stone bricks, that nice granite, all that stuff. What I do is I mine. This is Minecraft after all. And right over here, oops, there we go. This is my mine. For me, the key is having that pool of water because it makes it really easy to go down. It doesn't, yours doesn't have to look exactly like this. This is just really convenient for me. But this takes me all the way to Y10. And then I get out of the water and I'm on Y11, which is currently primo for diamonds. But it's also really good for finding lava. So be careful. All right. And when I'm making a mine, I generally do strip mines. But you'll notice that there's these odd shaped holes. Like over here and over here. Yep, there's a hole. Well, the reason why is because I found some goodies. Right over here is a pr very good example of what I'm talking about. So the way that I strip mine is I have a main corridor and then every two blocks. So one block, two block, hole! And I find goodies. And when I do find goodies, like this redstone, beautiful, I don't just dig it out, especially when I'm at Y11. There could be lava underneath it, and I don't want to lose it. That would be a complete bummer. And one that I kind of had to learn the hard way. So what I do is I dig all the way around. Just like this. And if there's nothing else of interest, then I go ahead and collect it. True, this is not the same method that a lot of other people take. This is just my method. And even for a common iron, like iron, <laughs> a common iron, oh, there I go again, a common ore, like iron, I still dig all the way around. Even though I could probably find a whole lot more of it elsewhere. But also another reason why I dig all the way around is because I might find some more goodies. And I'm not saying just go circular around it. Oops. Uh, there we go. See, I, I try to carry a spare. Yeah, I just don't go around the edges of it. But I also go across the top and the bottom. And it's kind of obvious one reason why to do the bottom. And yes, it is really dangerous for me to be walking down here at the, where I'm digging because I might get a lava pocket and I've heard one close by. But, eh. So when you're in the overworld, it's lava is pretty slow and easy for you to run away from. So yeah, this is how I uh, generally mine, especially down here at Y11. You can find so many goodies this way. It's part of the reason why this hole is so big. Oh, and that funny looking black gray stuff down there that's bedrock bedrock you can't break well you can but it's kind of a weird thing to do and it's really 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 not supposed to happen but um once 1.18 hits that bedrock we're looking at right now is gonna turn into deep slate that's because the world's getting deeper. Not much longer until that happens. All right. Now I'm going to show you another mining method that's commonly used. 
so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We are in a cave kind of offshoot in one of the ravines. This is actually the slime ravine, if you're wondering. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've made a couple of bridges. So it's a little bit easier for me to get back and forth. But another common mining method for ores is just to go straight at it. Um, it's not the most uh, efficient. But when you're this high up, if you notice up in the corner, I'm at Y52. When you're this high up, you don't have to worry about finding lava and having that suddenly ruin your day. Ew, I nearly forgot to tell you something. But oh well, I'll get back to that in a minute. But yeah, you can just dig straight at it when you're this high up because you don't have as many things to worry about. But it's definitely worth giving a shot to dig around because like down at Y11, you might find some goodies. Maybe not as good, because come on, if I could stumble across diamond while I'm doing this, that would be awesome. Let's be honest, diamond's the way to go. Get best tools that way too. There we go. See, not much. So usually when I'm up here, I'll just dig it straight out not even bother to oh interesting I would not have found that if I didn't do that more you know but um, yeah usually I just dig it straight out and don't even bother to dig around it but maybe I should start doing that otherwise I might find I might not find the entire vein Ooh, that's a hole. Uh, this way. No, I am not lost. Slime. Oh! Yeah, go! Go! <laughs> You're mine, slime. And as you can clearly see, there's still quite a bit of area that I haven't explored. But, um, no. What I was trying to get to, I'm trying, ah, this is perfect. So for things like sand and gravel, the way that I like to mine these is I put down a bunch of torches. Oh, crap, that's going to hurt. And I hit one block. Now, uh, come on, there. See where the torches were? The uh, gravel was already broken down. There we go. And when I'm trying to speed through digging that up, I'll just dig the bottom one up and try to quickly replace quickly replace the block with a torch. And where is that slime? I keep on hearing him jump around. Oh well. And with torches put underneath. Oh, it's nighttime. That's not good. With torches put underneath, it makes it so the gravel will automatically get mined, I think is what you'd say. Oh well. But it makes it a whole lot quicker, a whole lot easier. And that works for both sand and gravel because of how easily they uh, fall apart but 
that's the three main methods for oops for uh, mining different areas I'm really really liking my method of digging around because uh, I would not have found that one column of iron if I hadn't okay oh yeah it's down here oh a whole bunch of zombie villagers that's for later though I want to have a whole bunch of zombie villagers so I can uh, start trading with them but after I cure them but I won't be doing that until I go uh, to the nether and get some nether wart or no not nether wart blaze because I need to make a brewing stand the village the local village doesn't have one but last time I promised that I would harvest and use this piece of beauty all right Oh, wandering trader. But I I digress. So this one is pretty much ready for harvest. I don't mind harvesting it a little early. And so oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is put these blocks here. Cause last time I only had it go to here. But go one more forward. And that keeps the food from hopping out. Okay. Like so. Alright, it usually keeps it from hopping out. See? Most of it went into the hoppers. And then I just flip the switch, turn the water off, and it's time to replant let's see let's get those carrots and i've decided to just go ahead and have each of these little sections be a different plant so this is my carrot section as you could probably guess Oops. and here comes the part that i don't like doing which is falling in here and trying to make sure that I don't break what I've already done. Sometimes I do. It kind of tanks. But, yeah. I figure you'd want to know all this fun, fun stuff. But, it is time to say goodbye. So, okay, Papa, I love you.